Shows. Driven by the injury attorneys at Kissling, Nestico, and Reddick, this is 19 News. It is a sad sight one woman has to see on a daily basis. Piles of trash, mold, insects. She's sick of getting nowhere with her landlord, so she called the 19 troubleshooters. Noelle Williams is on the case, hoping to be able to help her out. We work hard here. We pay full rent here. We deserve better. Stacy Tarleton says anything would be better than the current conditions at Granada Gardens Apartments in Warrensville Heights. Insects, roaches, the laundry facilities barely work here. For the last two years, Tarleton has lived in this building. She told me it's barely livable. It's been disgusting. It's deplorable. She gave 19 troubleshooter team a look inside. On her floor, the trash room was so full, the door wouldn't even open. And that smell is atrocious. Her balcony full of mold and her two-year-old grandson's bedroom closet is caving in. Imagine they're in there playing around, they having to go in that closet and it falls on them. Charlton says she's reached out to the leasing office for months with no answer, but today I got an answer from a man named Fred Cope. He says in part, we have set aside a significant amount of funds for a capital improvement budget. We are currently in the process of implementing the major capital projects, such as roofing. I also spoke with Warrensville Heights Councilman Walter Stewart. He tells me he's been trying to get these issues fixed for years. If there have been residents, uh, cancer patients, uh, sleeping in sewage water, and, and, and I couldn't get any help, not even from the city. Unfortunately, there's no set timeline of when things will get better for Tarleton and other tenants. But 19 Troubleshooter plans to stay on top of the issue until there's a solution. In Warrensville Heights, Noel Williams, 19 News.